from Brook High School, WTRF proudly presents Ohio Valley Tonight with Nathan Marshall, tonight's guest. I'm joined tonight by Aaron Mazaka and Cassidy Wells, who are students at West Liberty University, and they just finished up the show, The Magic Flute, which is by Mozart, and you did some at uh, Towngate, mm -hmm. and you did some here at Brook High School, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, girls, but the stereotypical operatic singer is usually big women. I guess that would be the appropriate term with in Viking suits. You don't seem to be big. You are women, <laughs> but you're not in Viking suits. Uh, can you correct that stereotype? Um, that's a stereotype based on one opera, actually. In fact, <laughs> that's my knowledge of opera right there. <laughs> yeah, it's the one opera in particular um, by the composer Wagner, and that was kind of the the highlight was the large woman in a Viking suit, and that was that's 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 at yeah. the end, <laughs> which is it's not over till the fat lady sings. Mm. So, but really, there's roles for everyone. Even <laughs> oh, no. even skinny people can sing even opera. Skinny yes. people can sing opera. That should be a shirt you have. <laughs> Each maid must share his deep devotion and West Liberty is not in the same class as Juilliard, but it is a brand new program, basically, and it's an up-and-coming voice program. Uh, what made you decide to choose West Liberty's program, and are you happy with the education you received so far? Dr. Cowan and Mr. Dieger are, I feel like, the best in the area. Mm -hmm. So having them under direction and under the closeness that you have with students and teacher and small classes, you can't get from big schools like that. Yeah. Plus, it is close to home, but not too close that yeah. it's, because uh, I'm, I'm from Wheeling. Yeah. It's, it's close enough to home that I can see my family, but it's far enough away that I can become independent as well. So if you're Aaron's parents watching this right now, she's telling you she hates you. That's, <laughs> that's, no! that's what we're getting from the video. <laughs> not not at all. too close to home, but close enough. <laughs> Just if you need money. That's <laughs> Uh, we actually have a student question from a senior here at Brook High School, Cody Chapman. Uh, here's his question. Does your taste in music affect your operatic style? Well, that's a very good question, Cody. What do you think? I think that it doesn't um, pertain quite to singing opera, but by no means singing does singing opera mean that you only listen to opera and classical music? Uh, for instance, I'm a big fan of jazz. Now, before I even started college and wanted to do classical music, I wasn't exactly sure at the time. I thought I wanted to do Broadway. So I listened to a lot of Broadway and things, but I mean, I listened to mu music like everybody else. I listened to Eminem and <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so <laughs> I mean, I sing opera and then I'll go home and listen to Eminem, so. <laughs> Maybe you can mix it. Eminem, duet, Eminem. as you guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can sure. really I call it triet. <laughs> <laughs> Again, my guests tonight have been Aaron Mazaka and Cassidy Wells, who are voice majors at West Liberty University, and they just finished up performing The Magic Flute by Mozart. And they can find more information about West Liberty's music department and you guys by doing what? By going to the music department website on at www.westliberty.edu. Okay. And there's anything you need to know about all of our programs and everything they offer there. Thank you guys so much for coming in. And for Ohio Valley Tonight, this has been Nathan Marshall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>